What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Uh, today, we're focused in on the Florida Panthers, starting yet another rebuilding process. And um, you know what? It's part one of a two-part series about building the Panthers into a legitimate contender. Uh, and this one will focus on this season, the in-season moves. And um, you know, as always, my Panthers and Lightning uh, pieces will be an audition tape for Fox Sports Florida. So be sure to, to tweet it to them. But tweet, email, Facebook, whatever. Um, but I just want to say. The Panthers are, God bless them, you know, they're 3-6-1, uh, off to yet another subpar 10-game start, which is, you know, to be expected for a team that's made the playoffs once in the last 13 years. I'm going to come out right, right now and say, I like him as a coach, I don't think he should be fired, I think the players, the onus should be on the players, and, uh, you know, job security. Um, you know, the, the veterans, on the, even the young guys on the team, with the exception of Barkov, and, you know, to a certain degree, Huberto is not off to a great start by his standards, but is what it is. Um, you know, I, I'd send a message. You know, Barkov's played great. Fleischman's played really well. Um, Campbell's played all right. But, you know, the rest of the guys, I mean, Kopecky's got, I think, no points. Um, Gabranson, who I was expecting a big breakout year from, nothing. Um, Kulikov's played, all, you know, not to the level he's capable of, and his name's come up in trade rumors. Bugstad's been hurt, um, and really, he's, he's been okay in, in the time he has gotten. But, you know, I think it's time the organization takes a look inside itself and says, all right, what do we have to do? And I'd start, I'd start moving guys, you know. Um, I wouldn't move Fleischman just yet unless the deal was perfect. But I'd do the Herschel Walker effect, which I, I talked about in my New Jersey Devils piece, which is get as many draft picks back as possible to help build a legitimate contender. Um, you know, you might not get a lot for Kopecky, but you'll get something. Uh, Scotty Upshaw is, you know, the rivalry continues between me and him, but uh, the, the one goal through nine or ten games is, like, abysmal. I mean, how, really, how do you make $3 million a year and have a no-trade clause? I mean, you know, that, that wasn't one of the talent smarter moves. But, um, you know, I, I think eventually the deadline, some team will need a veteran forward and, you know, will be willing to look past his inconsistencies to get them, um, but you know, I just think you got to take a look inside yourself and also send a message to the guys at all levels of the organization that no one's safe. Whether it's Gabranson, whether it's Kulikov, uh, Brad Boyce, doesn't matter if you're a first round you know, pick, like Gabranson being a top three pick in the draft, or you know, a guy in a draft agreement, you know, you can get traded at any time, and I think having that attitude will make guys play harder, knowing that job security is on the line at all times. I don't think coaches should be the only one looking around the corner, looking around their shoulder, for um, looking over their shoulder, uh, for you know the, the the grim reaper that is getting out of a job or you know being displaced from their employment, and uh, you know I think if the positive you can take out of this is they're going to get another lottery pick. Maybe they get Ekblad, maybe they get Reiner or Anilander, but, um, you know, this draft isn't as deep as last year's draft, but I thought they made a bold move taking Barkov over Seth Jones. I'm not going to say it was the right move, but, you know, I like Barkov, so I, I really can't fault them for that. But, you know, it's going to be an interesting team to watch going forward, and uh, hopefully if they follow my advice, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. And the the second part of it is uh, interesting. Talking the goalie the goaltending situation, you know, Tim, uh, Tim Thomas, almost a Tim Tebow, uh, you know, that was that was cute, but he's played like a goalie that's missed a year and a half due to um, political reasons for so many, in so many words, and also... You know, Markstrom hasn't taken the steps forward that I expected him to. I'm not saying give up on Markstrom, but and I think a lot, of, a lot of that comes back on the defense. But if, um, you know, we'll talk about how that situation will be rectified in the second part of the piece. Anyway, that's all I got on part one of part two, rebuilding the Florida Panthers. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.